Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions, about to leave the house, and uh, you know, an idea came to mind. A lot of people like to carry knives just to be prepared if they ever need a knife, but what is the carry of knife rules in your state? Now, we're from the state of Missouri, so it's pretty lax on knife rules, but they do have some. To carry concealed, you has to be a pocket knife, preferably a folding knife, one edge, four inch or less. It's the only thing you can carry concealed on your person in your vehicle. Anything that's larger than that, it has to be able to be seen, whether you're carrying it open carry or in the vehicle, that's always, always gonna be seen. Now, if you're in the vehicle where it's always gonna be seen, you, you gotta be careful um, because that means if you're gonna go anywhere, you have to be able to see that knife. Well, you know as well as I do, if it's a nice knife, it's good chance it's gonna be stolen. So the key is never to carry a large knife in your car unless you're going to carry it with you. That's, that's just the key. So what are some good knives that you can carry in your vehicle? Well, what do I do? Now, one of the things I do, I, I like Buck, if you guys know. And, of course, we do have a Bible in there because, hey, it is Bushcraft Devotions. But, you know, I carry, and I don't carry the regular Buck 110s in the vehicle because you know this is gonna be my glove compartment uh, i like my shoes and i like don't like to get them all scuffed and scraped so they're probably going to be in, in your vehicle so i try to keep this in the car so this is the uh, buck 110 light Let's see here and it's really just like the other bucks with the you know the ebony wooden handles brass bolsters uh, or the pro with the nickel silver uh, I like to have that three and three four inch blade. I like that uh, option, so it's nice to have. And so I carry this in the car because, well, really the only thing that's legal. Yeah, so do the research in your state. Also do the research in your county and your city. So I had to do all of that, got the inf information. And the city pretty well does everything that the state does in the county as well. So that is what I will carry in the vehicle. Now, if I'm walking around, going to stores and doing things like this, and I don't wanna have a belt sheath for the 110, uh, the 112 Ranger, I'm gonna carry something in my pocket. Now, there are some good ones you can carry in your pocket. The regular size 110 is hefty. It's gonna be heavy in your pocket. If you have a phone in your pocket and keys, that's gonna be a lot heavier. So you can get the light version, that'll work. But something that I like for my pocket is the 110 Slim. It's a little bit different. Even though it's a clip point, it's not as defined as a clip point as the, the regular 110s or the 110 lights. It does have a deep pocket clip. So the clip is not down here, but this is going to be sticking up. When it's here, there's nothing being shown above your pocket. And it's light enough that if that's even something that people are looking around, you can just slide this whole thing in your pocket or even take that off if you want. And it's slim enough. And it's not gonna get in the way of everything else. I've, I've used this in the same pocket as my smartphone and it works. This is a new one, so it's a little stiff, but it does have your one hand open, has your little knobs there for that. Like I said, the, the point is not as clip as the other still 410 hc with a paul boss heat treatment sharp as ever but it's a thin thin profile and so that's what i come that's what i carry on me uh most of the time so that will work so you might have other knives that you like carrying in your vehicle the biggest thing is look at the laws of your state you don't want to be put over for a ticket going to a compartment for <laughs> for something all of a sudden oh they see that knife and all of a sudden you have a charge against you um you don't want to do that also even if you have a the right to carry ccw license for a firearm it doesn't apply to knives it does not apply to knives keep that in mind so you could carry a nine millimeter a 40 caliber a 45 uh, caliber 357 magnum if this blade is over four inches and it's concealed, nope, nope. So always look at the things in your state. So this is what I do. Um, why don't I carry the, the regular 110s or the 110 Pros or the 112, 110 Pros? Well, simply put, 
those I cherish a little bit more. I don't care if the light or the slim gets banged up as, mu as much. Or if I lose it, I'm not going to worry about it as much. Um, so that's my, that's what I'd like to do. I regret not being able to have a larger knife in a bag in the trunk just in case something happens and I need that larger knife. Otherwise, I would be carrying the 119, the 120, or my favorite, the Buck 124 Frontiersman. This would have to be, this would have to serve me to get me home to get the others. So, hey, what do you do? Leave it in the comments. What are your favorite knives? Leave those in the comments as well. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless.